Hello everyone and welcome to another video, Dusty here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to send invoices via your Stripe Merchant account. Now, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you already have a Stripe Merchant account, whether it's hooked up to your Shopify store, your uh, WordPress site, or whatever you're using it for. And I'm going to show you today how to send individual invoices as well as uh, set up recurring invoices for, say, subscription products or services or something of the sort. Now, most people think that you have to have third third-party software to send an invoice via Stripe, that's not true. So you don't have to worry about paying for additional software to do this. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Now, make sure you're logged into your Stripe merchant account. Go to your dashboard, and then over on the left-hand side, you're going to see all of your different options. The one I want you to look at now is the one here called Billing. If you click on that one, you're going to see the first one here is Invoices. Now, with Invoices, you're going to see all of the invoices that you have sent or that are outstanding or that you're creating, obviously for you, you're not going to have any. So what you're going to want to do is click the uh, new or the addition symbol here, just like that. And it's going to ask you to select a customer. Now, when you do this, you're not going to have any customers. And so you can't really do anything beyond this point. Go ahead and close out of that go up to customers there under balance. And then as you can see, all of these email addresses are linked to customers for my account. So click the new option in the upper right hand corner once again, and then type in the email address of the customer where you want to send it to. And then a quick description of who the buyer is. I always like to put something about the company they're with or the type of project that I'm working on. And then what you do is you click the blue create customer button there. Now, when you go back to billing over here on the left side and then invoices, then you can click the new invoice button here in the upper right hand corner and then select the customer. And as you can see, that customer will then be able to be selected here. And now you can start creating that invoice to send over to that person. Now, once you're on the invoice creation page, as you can see here, you're then going to be able to start looking into the invoice items. So give the item or product or service a description. So type in what the product or service is here. So type that here. And then over to the right of that, you're going to type in how many of these items are they getting? Are they getting three of those items? If so, type that there. Now the unit price is not going to be the total price. The unit price is how much one of these is going to cost. So let's say that one of these items cost, let's say $20. Okay, so type in 20 there. And then as you can see, the total amount now for this invoice is 60. So make sure you're paying attention to your unit price. Now, if they're buying another item, click add another item there, type what that item is here, and then go ahead and again, repeat the process of putting in the quantity as well as the unit price. So they're getting two of these for, let's say they're doing 50 bucks a piece. Now you can see it's totaling out to $160. Now, if you have any coupon codes or discounts, you can add those by going here and then create coupons and do all of that if that's something you want to do. If you're in a state that requires you to charge taxes, make sure you're doing that and you're typing in a percentage here. So let's say it's 7% like it is here in Georgia, then you can go ahead and add tax to that as well. The last thing you probably want to do is add a memo. I always thank people for my business here in this section. And then down below that are your billing settings. Here's the ones that I always do. You can choose to do the ones that you want. I always email the invoice to the customer to pay manually, give them a link directly within there. That's very easy. I always make the payment due 30 days after invoice is sent. Now, you may want to shorten this. Maybe you only want to give that person a week or 10 days. You can change that to whatever you want it to be here. But for me, I like to use 30 days. A month is always uh, about what I've found to be right for my business. Uh, invoice payment page. This is going to give them basically a payment page from within the email, which is great. And then you can accept payment with credit or debit card, ACH credit and wire transfers. All of this will be set up uh, beforehand in your uh, payment settings as well. Now, uh, once you're done, you can save and close, uh, create a draft, and that will not send the invoice. You can preview, which is what we'll do now. I'll preview the invoice. This is what the person's going to see. They can click this blue button here to pay the invoice, or you can click the blue send invoice button. And then once you do so, that is out of your hands and you are good to go. Now, if you do have 
have a, a subscription or something that you want to get paid for on a monthly basis or you don't want to have to worry about sending out individual invoices every single week or month, you can go up here and create a subscription by going here to billing and then subscriptions. And then what you can do here is you don't have any, so we can create one by going to the new option here and then select the customer like we just did with the invoice like so. And then basically we'll add a product down here so we can create our first product and do it that way. So follow those steps here. It's pretty self-explanatory. And basically what it allows you to do is for Stripe to every month or every week or bi-weekly send out an invoice uh, on command and you don't have to worry about it because it's set up via a subscription. Now, hopefully you found some value out of this. If you did, please let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions on how to set up your Stripe account or do anything else, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys as always for watching my videos and I will see you guys in the next one.